joining. Okay, so yesterday we discussed universality versus particularity. And we discussed Joseph among the nations and we try to understand twofold mission and inward focus, centripetal and centrifugal. And we had, we spent enough time on universality and particularity. We try to understand the call of Abraham and uh, God selected him for the sake of all others. And uh, universal mission, the followers of God were to carry the message of salvation to others. This, where, there we stopped yesterday and also we discussed the Genesis 1 to 11 in universal scope. And then we try to understand the concept of nations, the place of nations in God's universal design. There we discussed universality versus particularity. The nation and nations. So universality is the idea that Yahweh is the one and God of all. Everyone is free to reach him in whatever place and situation he may be in. They have a freedom to accept him or reject him. God is very much available not only to Israel, but also to all the nations of the world. That's what we discussed. God is available, approachable, and he has a concern for all the nations. And then we try to understand particularity in the context of universality. And then uh, there we stopped yesterday. And today we continue from there. And uh, we try to understand that God is the God of missions. And he is the first missionary because he is the one who created and he is the one who sent his son the Lord Jesus into the world. The whole Bible is the story of God's missionary act of redemption. The whole Bible from Genesis to Revelation. That's what we are seeing in this class, Biblical Theology of Mission. The whole Bible is the story of God's missionary act of redemption. And God and the Israel, we continue to see this theme we have seen Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph among the nations. And now Israel has been formed. God, the relationship in, between God and the nations. The act is that, the fact is that Israel was given the privilege of particularity to extend the universality of God's plan of salvation through its witness. Through its witness. Israel was elected to be a blessing for all. We have seen Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Joseph. They were elected for the sake of others. In the similar manner, Israel as a nation elected to be a blessing for all surrounding nations. Israel was elected to be a servant of all. Here the, is, here the point is, yes, election is for the sake of service. Election is for the sake of servanthood. There is a responsibility. Yes, there is a privilege in election, but there is a responsibility. Oh, res privilege always go goes with the responsibility. There is no privilege without responsibility. Yes, Israel has been selected, but there is a responsibility. Universality versus particularity in Israel's election. You know, the other day in systematic theology, we discussed about election. Election, yes, God selected Israel, but these people had to suffer a lot. They had to go through a lot of pain, agony, suffering. God had to punish them several times. There is a huge responsibility. Even today, now, we are saved. Yes, we are saved by faith and faith alone. And we are destined to the eternal kingdom. But there is a lot of responsibility. We have to go through in a narrow road so that all others may recognize the sovereign power of the Lord Jesus. Israel, as the light for the Gentiles. You know, here, as a light for the Gentiles. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. You know, Israel was the light of the world in that ancient Hebraic cultural context. God selected Israel to be a light of 
the nations. God's particularity is for the sake of universality. From the beginning, I have been talking about this. Universality versus particularity in Israel's election. We have seen individuals' uh, personal lives. Now when we get into Israel as a community in the Old Testament, so, um, so Israel was elected to be a blessing for all. To be a blessing for all. And Israel was elected to be a servant of all. Already explained this. Let me go a little further. Israel as the light to the Gentiles. These are the three Trinitarian concept of election here. Blessing for all. Election is to be a blessing for all and to be a servant of all and uh, to be a light of all. Even now, God elected us with, for this Trinitarian purpose, to be a blessing. How others will be blessed? When I become a servant. And how I become a servant? When I shine in the darkness, shining in the darkness. And now we have completed book of Genesis. We went a little slow, but now we, little, we go a little fast. And we move to mission and exodus. Somebody is writing a paper on this. Mission and exodus. Yahweh as a redeemer. We see the God of Israel, Yahweh, as a redeemer in this exodus because people were oppressed, harassed, helpless. And Bible says their cry has reached unto God. And God heard their cry and he came down to redeem. So what is mission here in the Old Testament? We see in this particular book of Exodus, mission as redeeming people from the clutches of the unjust oppression. Spiritual interpretation. Now the evangelicals mostly interpreted in a spiritual manner. I have seen, I have heard as a young boy growing up in a spiritual communities all the time taking this book and spiritualizing. Yes, there is a double um, interpretation spiritualizing we need to interpret in a spiritual context but at the same time the little interpretation also so mission is not only winning the souls mission is not only preaching the gospel throwing the tracks and then bringing to our church yes that is essential that is primary but along with that particularly when we get into the book of exodus we see different interpretations some liberals took it as a political interpretation saying that, yes, we need to liberate people. We need to get into political action. Uh, if you get a chance to read M.M. M. Thomas, a great scholar, Indian scholar, an amazing scholar, has written wonderful books. One of the book entitled uh, Salvation as Humanization. It's an amazing book. I tried to get it, but I couldn't get it. It's a very uh, uh, renowned book. Mission as salvation as humanization of course uh, evangelicals blame him as a liberal but uh, his concepts are really amazing concepts he's balanced in, in his writing but his most of his writings focus on liberation liberating the uh, people from the clutches of the evil he was a governor of nagaland for some time he comes from kerala by the way but uh, he raised up to a governor stage in nagaland somewhere and uh, one of the renowned theologians of India, a great man. You can Google and find some of his books. You can read uh, books on uh, books.google.com. Some pages you can read his books, but you may not be able to read all the books. So political interpretation. M.M. Thomas look at, looks at the mission in Exodus as a political interpretation. We need to change the structures of the politics. You know, some evangelicals were completely away from the politics. You know, any extreme may not be uh, good and the Bible may not support any extreme. We need to understand Bible from uh, in a holistic manner. We need to see the text from Genesis to Revelation. And integral interpretation. Uh, mostly evangelicals interpreted with this integral interpretation, combining both and... Um, What's name? We know the Ramachandran. He has written uh, a mission as integral, integral mission. I think the title of the book itself is Integral Mission. If you get it, you can uh, um, get the. He widely involved with student movement in Sri Lanka. 
he was a part of uh, intervarsity fellowship group uh, he 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 writes scholarly of course he is not a quote unquote theologian but uh, he writes uh, amazing uh, books uh, he is a profound author you can get vinod ramachandran you can get his books and read god's comprehensive redemption we see in the book of exodus what is god's comprehensive redemption do you understand comprehensive means total so we see in the book of exodus god's comprehensive mission a political liberation because they were oppressed by pharaoh they need political liberation and economic liberation they were suppressed they were slaves they were not having their own land they don't have their own uh, income they don't have proper jobs uh, political economic and then uh, social because they were marginalized like in india today we see even now we see um, the untouchability in some parts of the rural rural, rural context of india and the social uh, discrimination on the basis of caste community and economic standards social discrimination is still very much prevailed in our country so the economic um, oppression is still there a political uh, oppression so what is our mission in all these things shall we think only throwing the tracks on people and helping people to know christ yes this is important very essential primary mission but so mission is much more than what we think about conversion and conversion yes mission is bigger than bringing a person and baptizing him and giving him a bible in the hand and come to church so we are taught mission is only that go and share the gospel and then bring him to the church make him sit and worship yes that is essential but mission is much more political economic social and spiritual you know liberating from every clutches of the evil because the devil has captured people with all these bondages political bondage economic bondage social bondage and spiritual bondage the god of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers they need to be liberated but the spiritual liberation is essential so so the exodus from slavery to service you know they were slaves from that context they moved to serving god in a different context so we see in the in, in exodus god has come on their side so the exodus and mission somebody is writing a paper on mission as a liberation social concern holistic concept of mission now there are several aspects we can understand from this book i think you are reading peter's book peter also talks about all these concepts and uh, particularly if you read um uh, transforming mission david bosch talk about mission as the liberation so most of the books that i have given uh, to you um i think one book particularly entitled as mission in the old testament so all those books talk about these concepts exodus and the mission of god genesis sets the stage for understanding the bible as the story of god's mission now do you remember the first class i laid the foundation saying that in genesis in the book of genesis chapter 3 was 15 there itself we see the mission statement sets the stage for understanding the bible as the story of god's mission the four books that follow exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy ex accelerate it we see the progress of mission exodus as the heart of israel's gospel not the heart of israel's gospel in exodus god liberates his people to serve as a missional community that reflects god's character to and fro in the world there is a rich theology in exodus the goal of exodus is the freedom to serve god rather than autonomous freedom you know the freedom is for the sake of serving god they wanted freedom from pharaoh not to have an economic gain not to have their own property or not to have build their own kingdom but to serve god that's the reason they say let's go and worship our lord jehovah god freed his people 
to unlatch them for God's mission to bless the nations. You know, as they continue to move from place to place, when they move to uh, Jericho, you no, know, the people were able to understand the mightiness of the Yahweh, the powerful God of Israel. You know, as they continue to move, the surrounding nations were able to understand the sovereignty of Jehovah. Relations, relational witness, God with us. You no, know, they took this message, God with us, with us. Do you remember Rahab? She was frightened. She said, Oh, we know that your God is a greater God, and your God is with you. When you conquer this land, city, please remember us. The book of Exodus X climaxes in God's presence coming to dwell in the newly constructed tabernacle in the midst of the Israelite camp. You now God has come down to live with them. God with us. Mission as liberation, mission as humanization, mission as suffering, mission as witness, mission as community living. You know, you see in the book of Exodus, mission as a community living. They were living together and eating together. You know, food came from heaven, manna. They shared together. And mission as a witness, witnessing to the surrounding nations. You know, the surrounding nations were troubled with fear and tension. And some of them understood the mighty acts of Jehovah. And we see the century petal mission model. People came and joined with Israel. Mission as a liberation, mission as humanization, mission as suffering, mission as witness, mission as community living. These are all concepts we derive from book of Exodus. Mission is much more than what we think. So if you see the overview of the book of Exodus, the God who delivers, chapter 1 to 18, you know, God who delivers from the clutches of the oppression. In India, this Dalit community had been oppressed centuries together. Untouchability, poverty, no land for them. The, la the entire land in the village belonged to the landlords and the Dalits had to work in the land and they, they don't have animals. Only when the landlord's animals die, they have to remove the skin and prepare the shoes and they are not allowed to have the shoes. Those shoes are for the landlords again. The land belongs to the landlords, buffaloes, property, everything, but these people lived outside the village in the fringe circles and landless, animalless, dignityless. Now, in that context, the beautiful, uh, amazing liberation that took place in India, we need to really thank God. The, the, the biblical gospel has come to this country and liberated people. The gospel has given dignity, economic liberation, and political liberation also in some context. And the spiritual liberation, they were not allowed to enter into the temple. They were godless. They're not only penniless, they were godless as well. Because there was in Indian history, in Indian history, there were temple entry movements by Ambedkar and several others because they were not allowed inside the temple. There, is, there was a spiritual liberation by the biblical message, God who delivers. You know, there is an amazing power in the Lord. We see that deliverance in Exodus and obstacles to God's rescue mission. We see here in Exodus also, what are the obstacles we can learn today's mission principles also? Moses' reluctance, Pharaoh's resistance. Now the Moses said, Lord, I can't do this. His reluctance and Pharaoh's resistance. And today, when God calls individuals, they also... Uh, sometimes reluctance. Oh, I can't do this. Annas are there, elders are there. It is their job. Not such a some of our uh, spiritual circles. All the time they say, This is not my job. Annas will do. Their great people are there. What? There is no greater uh, senior or junior in God's context. God is an amazing God. He uses anybody. He uses the, a person at the age of 80 and he can use at the a person at the age of eight years also. We read in the uh, first Kings and second Kings. God selected when he was at the, at the age of eight. You know, God can do amazing things. God used uh, David when he was with 
a chota boy, a small boy, was able to kill Goliath. David didn't say, I am very small. Anna is there in a palace. Who is that Anna? Saul. Saul Anna is there. He's a big man. This, this, is a, this is a faulty view and we need to take it away from our mindset. God can use anybody at any time, provided you come and uh, say, here am I, use me, O Lord. The call of Moses here, mission in the name of the Lord. Mission in the name of the Lord. You know, Exodus 3 and 4, we see the burning bush, theophany. Here in theology, when we understand, theophany, the appearance of God. D is missed here in my typing. Theophany, the appearance of God. Never before people had that, that um, spectacular theophany. Moses had the privilege. The, mess, the messenger or angel of God appears in the flame. Moses looks at the bush burning, but not being consumed. Out of curiosity, God uses human curiosity for God's own purposes. Human curiosity can lead to call. What I wanted to conclude, human curiosity can lead to call. I was a young guy, I think 19 plus, when I came to Christ, all alone, suffering, no fun, no money, a lot of struggle. My family was somewhere. I was in the hostel. I was so curious to do God's ministry. Let me see what is there. I want to get in. I wanted to go to Maldives. I want to get in here and there. You know, in those days, I started preparing my passport to go. And I wanted to get into some interior place, be a missionary. So curious. Maybe God picked up the curiosity within me and he started. I never intended to get into any Bible school. I never knew what is Bible school. But God pushed me one after the other, one after the other. And God uses our curiosity. And I, had a, I was so curious, I wanted to start an ashram. Because my grandfather had an ashram, a Hindu ashram. And I said, oh, I want to have a solitary place where I can sit the whole day under a tree or meditate and spend time with God. And maybe I want to do some different ministry. I was penniless, no money at all. It was amazing. When I was about to complete my PhD in Syax, Bangalore, wondering where to move, my father calls me suddenly one day and said, we have our inheritance, grandfather's land. We had about 25 acres of land. We sold it. And uh, your portion is kept over, come and take. It's an amazing. God in his sovereign grace, when you have a curiosity to do something for God, he provides. And uh, he, he gave me a, a big amount of money, my dear father, my grandfather's property. And I bought some land here and developing my Ashram. Of course, there is nothing but trees are there. I visualize I want to sit under a tree and pray and enjoy God's presence. By the way, today morning, 8 o'clock, I went there till 4 o'clock. I was there under the trees, sitting, meditating, and enjoying God's presence, a cool breeze. And uh, of course, today is the weather is very cool. Uh, whole day I enjoyed and came back. You know, when you have some curiosity to do something for God, God comes on your aid. And a God is not a debtor. And we can do God's mission. It's not, God's ministry cannot be done with money, my friends. It can be done with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And by obedience. God speaks from the bush. Divine appearance in a fire anticipates. God appears to Moses in fire in Sinai. God leading the people in the wilderness in a pillar of fire. We see how God is leading no, curiosity and call. I'm talking about curiosity and call. You know, we should be people of curiosity to do extraordinary things. William Carey was curious. He wanted to see when he, re when he read a diary from, uh, what is his name? Um, Captain Cook went around the world and wrote something. People group this and that. William Carey read the diary and he was so curious. Wow, there are so many people groups around the world, particularly India. He was so curious to go and see what is there in India. His curiosity brought to him, brought him to India. An amazing transformation he did. And today he, he is known as father of modern missions, not only in India, entire the globe. Characteristics of Theophanes we see there. God uses nature to clothe an event that is not natural. 
form of divine consensus consensus god makes his presence lowly to enter into conversation with us no god enters into conversation holy ground no ground became becomes holy because of god's appearance that is god's presence and purpose of the ground sanctifies it god draws particular plot of ground an aspect of the creator order into a new sphere of relationship nature too is affected by and serves as an instrument for the divine presence and purpose fritim says even nature also serves him moses asked to follow ancient customs of respect and remove shoes maybe when we have a class on the gospel and culture we can discuss more on that respecting cultures and customs no it's there is no it's okay if you move with the shoes but there is an ancient cultural customs god instructed moses to respect moses becomes afraid to look at the bush after god speaks he is afraid to look at god god's self identification to moses i am the god of your fathers you know here i need to stop a while and explain for the first time god reveal himself i am the god of your fathers here i am because a god who is there from the beginning a self existing god a god who doesn't have a beginning and the end i am swayambhava you know he was he was swayambhavu there is no beginning for him when jesus talk about this i am concept in john's gospel particularly in john's gospel jesus says seven i am of jesus i think who is that john stott has written seven i am of jesus if you get that book it's small book profound in theology john stott seven i am of jesus when jesus said i am the light he is not simply saying i am the light he is referring back to this text in the old testament and exodus when god revealed himself as i am jesus was referring to that revelation saying that hey guys i am that swayambhava the god who was there from the beginning the god who is there from the beginning a god the god who doesn't have a beginning that's the reason these pharisees got a afraid and they were so much jealous and they were they are so angry because how can you say that you are i am god you how how dare you equate yourself to the god of jehova that's the theological context there ties faith into moses personal family shows the continuity in god between moses and his ancestor so encounter with god moses encounter with god in book of exodus so god who demands the law was given to a redeemed people not to redeem people you know here is an amazing thing this is not my statement i quoted from somebody the law was given to a redeemed people not to redeem people how do we understand this when a few hindus come flock into our church with the curiosity to see what is there maybe to worship christ on christmas day we should not preach them the law of the lord the law is given to the redeemed people not to redeem people you cannot redeem people with the law because the law condemns people no you remove this you remove that and you should be like us no that that is a law it has given to the redeemed people only when you are inside but those people are not inside they are outside they are just coming so here i just i'm brush i am just going back to our discussion the other day we had a in depth discussion the law was given to the redeemed people not to redeem people we cannot redeem people by our condemnation criticizing and no saying that i am right you are wrong no i am right because of my law they will know when they get inside how do they get inside they get inside by showing the love and uh, 
the grace alone, the faith alone, faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, not by the law. The law condemns, but uh, Jesus has come to accept everybody irrespective of their culture, context, background, and religion. That's a different story. The God who dwells among the Israel. God is a God who dwells with the people we see. Our understanding of how God acts can get simplistic. Our understanding of God. We expect it to be immediate, decisive, and pain-free. You know, in the mission context, we, we don't want to have a pain, an instant, because we, we, we all want it to be instant, instant coffee, you know, everything instant. We want, we need instant results. Within a month, I baptized 100 people. Within a one year, I started 100 churches. We see these kind of statements, instant, how it comes? So it's not possible. Five things to learn from Moses. So Moses had to pay attention to God's voice and then God initiates, then he waits. God waits and then the second thing, let me move a little fast. Revelation about ourselves. God calls Moses by name. Moses, Moses, verse 4, chapter 3. Encounter with God is about affirmation. He calls us out of hiding our true names, not false narratives. So God, the mission of God in this book of Exodus, encounter is always about mission. Encountering God, God's mission of hope and redemption. Now go, I am sending you. you now when he had that encounter, then God says, I am sending you now, go. God, not afraid of Moses, weakness of sin. He fills the gaps. Yes, God was not afraid of Moses' sinful weakness, and uh, his, but God foresees the potential within the candidate. And he refines, reshapes, and recharges with his gifts. He is wanting to call us out and go deeper with us. Anyway, let me move on. Now go, I am sending you. God says. Okay, here, let me spend a couple of minutes. Exodus 3. The sending Moses. Salvation from the suffering involves being moved from the oppression. The gift of a new land a new place for life and blessing. God's redemptive acts lead to a new creation. Salvation involves deliverance from something. A flawed and oppressive world. To something. A new creation for life and blessing. Maybe somebody can write a paper on what is salvation? What is salvation? Now, salvation is much more term. So, we see salvation in the book of Exodus. So, sending God. Even in the book of Exodus, we see ten plagues. Something went wrong with my video. Okay. Ten plagues. And um, I think you can read the Bible and understand all that. I am just skipping. So, these... What is the purpose of these 10 plays? God wants to display his glory. The God of Jehovah is powerful God and he, he demonstrated his power in that heathen land through Moses. And today you and I, when we go to mission field and God walks with us and he performs wonders, you will be for a kingdom of priests. I have five more minutes, then we take a picture. Please don't leave the class. The presence of God. They walked in the wilderness, but the sad thing, they haven't walked straight. They went around, round and round and round and round. They struggled. They, did, they didn't obey in the mission field. As a result, it took a long time for them to complete the task. 40 years. So, trends and mission. Two 
preliminary considerations from the book of Exodus. What are the trends? Number one, mission is a simple but complex reality and it develops in a variety of ways. Two preliminary considerations we look at. Mission is a simple, single, but complex reality and it develops in a variety of ways. Different elements of mission. Proclamation and evangelism. That's what we do. In proclamation, what is witness? Dialogue, human liberation, and prayer and contemplation. Dialogue, mission as a dialogue. David Bosch has a special chapter on mission as dialogue. So we don't need to be frightened of the word dialogue. At one point of time, evangelicals were so much frightened of the term dialogue. Catholics do dialogue. So dialogue, we need to read more and engage into that. So proclamation is the foundation. Summit and uh, center of evangelization. Proclamation is the permanent priority of mission. Mission as proclamation. Two aspects of evangelization. Proclaiming the gospel in prophetic witness and proclamation. There is no true evangelization if the name, the meaning, the life of Jesus of Nazareth are not proclaimed. These are the two aspects. Someone has given a um, charting message. What is this? Let me read four charts. Yoshua, Anna. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Yoshua, are you still there? If you are there, we'll take a picture. Yes, Anna. Okay. Wait a few minutes. We'll take a picture and then you can go. We stop here today. And we continue the lesson tomorrow. Okay, friends, I'm really excited. You're all doing a great job. Can you open your video? I'll take a uh, screenshot. Srinivas, uh, Brother Chandrala, are you there? Brother Prakash, can you open your video? Dr. Saab, Alexander, Dr. Brother Francis, we are glad finally you made it. I'm sorry I missed your uh, call. My wife told me I was out. What a beautiful thing. I'm so much excited to see all of you today. So, full fledged class. Brother Vilas. Okay, you have two, right? There are. Okay, that's fine. I'll close one. Yeah. Video, you can close, no problem. <laughs> Dr. Saab, can you be visible to us? Dr. Alexander Saab, are you there? Dr. Saab? Dr. Alexander sent a message saying he is not able to hear you. He was not able to hear us? Yeah. That's what he sent a chat message. Oh, I haven't seen because I was teaching. Uh, asked to start video. Even if you can't listen, that's fine. If you can. Yes! Villa says, Yes, Dr. Saab, welcome. Okay. Okay, let me take a picture now. Okay, everybody's fine. Okay. Um, but Prakash, can you can you come, little friend? But Joseph also can you yes, come? Sir. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, brother. You are, I think you are opposite direction to the light, brother Joseph. Light is falling on your back, so we, we are not, yes, yes, this is the picture. Uh, yes, that is right. Now. Okay, yes. Everybody is fine now. One, two, three, go here. I'll take again. 
Wonderful. I got it. I'll send you the picture. Yeah, now those who are having emergency can leave the class. Others can have some discussion. Let me see whether it has come or not. Screenshot. Yes, it came. Hello? Yes, yes, brother Prakash. Is it okay? <laughs> yes, it is okay now. I got it. I got it. Okay. I'll, I'll send Fine. it on WhatsApp group. Okay, now let's look okay. at okay. uh, chat messages. Uh, can't hear you. Okay. Yeah, now, now I can hear you. Wow, wonderful. There was some problem from your side, I think, uh, audio or video side. <clears throat> Okay, so I am so glad that uh, all of you have selected your topics and started reading. I know you are busy people, but still you are spending some time. That gives me an encouragement. So I am here to help you to formulate your research paper and helping you how to write. So don't worry about too much about uh, papers and assignments. One thing I think uh, uh, Dr. Alexa, somebody asked me, reading report, that is not an assignment as such. Um, what I mean reading report, you need to read 600 pages. Usually for MD level, at least 2,000, 3,000 pages you have to read from, your, from different books, anyway, Two books you are already studying for book review. That itself may have 600 pages. So that you don't need to give any written report for that 600 page reading report. Just you need to read some 600 pages for your writing research paper, for your book reviews. I think you will be doing it. Forget about it. You don't need to give me anything related to that 600 page uh, reading report only maybe you can write in a piece of paper saying that yes I read 600 pages your commitment I need that's all <laughs> uh, brother how about the thought papers no thought papers for this uh, course oh I haven't given that okay uh, 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 I think I have not given yeah, you have not given and uh, book reviews uh, you want uh, two book reviews or yeah, one two, book review two book reviews Book yeah, two book reviews. It can be including the Peter George book which we are reading, uh, yeah. Doctor? Yes, that's, uh, that's everybody can review, no problem. Yeah, okay, thank you. Brother, the first, hello? Yes. Brother, the two books initially you have given to us for reading. Yeah, I said that is a required. Even you have a freedom to select any one of the books in that 50 books, you can select, oh. no problem. Okay, okay. If you are interested in doing something else, you can do it. Any two books you read and then uh, just two pages, two page review of the book. I think by this time, many of you know how to write a book review. And uh, those who don't know, don't worry. Call me or maybe text me. I am here to help you. So... And the other thing, don't worry about the money. There, I know it is a, something big thing for some. Uh, because of that, you, you should not uh, uh, get away from the class or maybe you should not be embarrassed. I'm not going to put it in the group anytime. I'm so glad. And uh, I really thank God. One or two, I think, uh, they have given... Um, the, the uh, two months fee for singing, they have given double. I never asked, but you are so generous. So God provides, don't worry. So, and then, um, any other concerns you have, friends? Eight o'clock now. Uh, brother, uh, the, the topic that I selected, 
Yeah. I think you you want us to refer to some recent journals at least. Some at least. Yeah. I, can you find us? Uh, can you help us find uh, sure. articles? Because well, well, if I try doing an internet search, either very limited access or no access at all. You are right. See, Sage Journal, S A D Sage uh, Journals is the top international journal. Every time you click. Sage comes into the search, but uh, they, they they just give only abstract one paragraph. If you want the full, they say pay the membership. Only big big uh, seminaries they pay the membership. Individuals cannot do that. So I can help you. Uh, when I was in UBS and SIAX, I don't. Uh, actually, there is a one uh, online atla. So all the journals. We have the access to get into the journals and download. Long ago, long ago, I downloaded huge files. They are there in my. Maybe I need to spend some time to trace. Sure, I'll help you. Your number is Doctor. Uh, my my this home church house church I think is the last one. No. House church? No, you. Oh, you selected house church. Ah, uh, yeah. You you only permitted me. If you want me to change, I will change. I think uh, I overlooked and permitted because last house church already we have studied last time, and the brother Joseph he again wanted to do that. I said no, you can't do that. So I think why don't you select something else? Sure thing, brother. Yeah, because definitely. Today we will be familiar with so many new topics. Yes, so, sure. Uh, brother Joseph has done a good job. Uh, last uh, last uh, course in, uh, about the church and uh, the Alex and then everybody has done a good job, brought good topics to the table. This time maybe, uh, yeah, you take time and then find out another topic. And these are the uh, selected topics. Maybe I'll um, put in the group. Can two people do the same topic individually, of course. Yeah, you can do it, no problem. But it is better, brother, to go for Just other so topics. So many topics are there yes. left behind. Yeah, because that's the reason I spend a lot of time to design so many topics so that you will have it. Topic. Topics are there. Maybe so I will think. post this file in the group so you see what all is taken. You already, you already posted, brother. You already posted. No, no, so with the red lines, I have not posted with the selected uh, topics. Uh, okay. okay. Yes. Please. I will, I will. I will file this. I will send this again. With, but then you know who is who has taken what. Which is blank. Which is blank. That was can select. No. Yeah. I have written a red lines. The selected topics have been. The, the names have been given to the topics. Those who are left over. Uh, 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 the books. How you are send them, brother? Books. How you are send them? You having to get uh, brother Joseph. You didn't get the books. Uh, Miss, see, actually, you know that I don't have computer now. Okay. Uh, how you do no, send it? Because I sent it in uh, Google Drive, but yeah. Uh, so email. 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 Ah, huh? yeah, yeah. Okay, I'll I'll just see. I'll send uh, my email to you. Do I have your email? Yeah. Otherwise, I will send my email to you. Yeah. You if you please. Please check if you have not got the books, you yeah, lag behind. So get the books. Even in mobile is that's fine. You can uh, download in the mobile and uh, at least see the content of the book. Uh, Pauline theology of missions. You have something on that also? Yeah. We can't hear you, brother Joseph. Yeah. Um, Pauline theology. Pauline theology of missions. Yeah, Pauline and theology. Most of those books talk about Paul and theology. Yeah, okay. So you just uh, look at the content of some of the yeah. books, and maybe if you are really stuck, not getting the material, let me know. I can help you. Yeah, yeah. Doctor. Yes. Francis, I have taken worship and mission. Yeah, I have written your name. Yeah, actually, somebody wants to take, but uh, I am reminded that you have taken them. Theme and study of the Book of Psalms. So I have to define what is worship and mission. Mm -hmm. That is, worship is superior to mission. Yeah. And I must give a thematic uh, means what I should do. I must say the different type of psalms like that, contract psalms, royal royal psalms like that. I have okay. to discuss. 
yeah in thematic study of the books in the book of psalms there are different themes related to worship and mission yeah 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 maybe you can i think uh, that uh, uh, what is this uh, i what, what is that name book i have sent you know on uh, uh, piper piper john book piper, yeah the american yeah. Yeah. The john piper uh, book talk about worship and mission the whole book is about worship and mission i have seen that i have seen that yeah so in the context should i take mission mm -hmm. from the other today you spoke about uh, poses exodus is a mission like that i must add all those things or uh, just so confined to only worship and mission okay mission as worship so then yeah. you, you you are ex, you are focusing on worships and encourage yeah, yeah. everybody to see that mission as worship yeah yeah so yeah, yeah all different titles so one thing i want to tell you see mostly we are all evangelicals even i also grew up in the tradition most <laughs> of all understand mission immediately what comes giving a track or helping somebody to know christ and pull him to the church and baptizing him so our whole focus is mission is somehow this person pull should up. know jesus within one hour we should share the gospel bring him to the church and baptize him and leave him there and go somewhere and bring him again so that is that is that is ultimate goal but this course is uh, pushing us to look at mission in different perspectives yeah 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 i got it i got yeah. it mission is the worship is to see whatever we are doing mm -hmm. it is to glorify god mm. and his mission yeah of reaching people mm. yeah, i'll do that john piper that's what he uh, continuously argues saying that the chief aim of man is to glorify god through worship yeah yeah, yeah i have already started writing some things yeah, he says only says that worship is but mission is not he says mission may disappear but worship will continue so what is important worship or mission he says worship is great so great, yeah See, what you become you you all promoting your title saying that you should get into that so yeah we all understand that you are evangelical you are soul winning uh, concept but just come out of that box and yeah yeah okay this title and you be aggressive on defending your title that is right yeah i got it i yeah. got the message for example somebody is writing mission in exodus as a liberation so he tries to argue and convince all of us saying that hey guys mission is much more than evangelism mission is liberating people let's go yeah. and liberate people fight for justice and uh, and then somebody is writing mission as uh, serving the poor and then he will anchor, he will motivate us to saying that hey mission is only serving the poor going to the slums and uh, giving them medicine giving them this that and uh, so you are all promoting your titles fine fine i got a concept of it yeah anything is there i'll come back to you sure sure but i already, wow. start, I already started drafting <laughs> wonderful wonderful i am very much encouraged see frankly speaking you are better than the traditional bible school students i had to really right. struggle school and then uh, giving give them harsh language but you are so amazing with all your difficult works you are able to study and read cooperate and uh, so this is what uh, helps to grow hello uh, brother yes brother joseph uh, uh, paul in theology of missions mm -hmm. so just give me an outline so that i can think what sure. what you expect me see the yeah. paul in theology of mission is uh, in the mm. book of acts mostly we get his uh, theology of mission so yeah. uh he mostly focuses on reaching the gentiles his theology is um his call is for the gentiles his yeah. advocates mission for gentiles yeah. mission for gentiles yeah so th th that's the major focus maybe i'll yeah. do some uh, uh two three yeah some material and i think in all those books you have so much material about paul's mission yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i saw some papers also research papers also yeah. i was so, seeing no you need to focus on theological aspect paul's mission to the cities and his strategy yeah. 
he selected cities and uh, he said, uh, that is all a kind of mission praxis but yeah. he was focusing on his theology mm. bringing out romans and then his theology of mission so jesus the the he is he is christocentric he, mm. his theology is mostly on christ uh, focused so mm. you just read a few pages on uh, paul's the theology of mission then you will understand no yeah maybe i will also find out uh, an article yeah. and i'll send you yeah yeah thank you Can I add one thing, Anna? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, brother, uh, I I I need to go. Yeah, please. Yeah, I think uh, we had enough you, time today. You wanted a photograph, or you finished? I'll, I already okay. finished. Uh, you you were there when I took the picture. Oh, you did. Okay. okay. Then thank you so much. Yeah, we have already take, took the picture. I am developing a website for this uh, course. Maybe I want to use that with your permission. It's okay, right? No. Oh, yeah. yeah. Welcome. Yeah, and then uh, I'll... you want our all beautiful fa faces in that. <laughs> we, will, we will give you your. We will give you our autographs also. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I think uh, uh, maybe what I, I'll uh, if you can write uh, three four lines like about this course. Maybe I'll send you one website model. Uh, the students write about the course, and we'll. in the website where those who log into the site when they read that the page they will understand about this course maybe your description if you are able to do that will be great i can keep it in the uh, website what our student says then i'll give the columns down yes yes we sure, will be happy to do that yeah, excellent i'll post it in the whatsapp group some model Wonderful. If you don't have any questions, I think uh, we take leave today. Well, Potana, uh, I'm yes. sitting at different place. Can you take this? Po I mean, you see which is better. If you can. Um, pardon. I'm sitting at different place. Just see this photo. I mean, if you can. Yeah, this is good. So, yeah. the when I was taking a picture, I yeah, it was good. Need to move. Then uh, yeah. it came. Yeah, it's, it's okay. It's okay then. Well, I was moving. I was not sure. No, see how to know it. See, you should see your picture in the mobile. Then you know it's like you're looking at the mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. So, Villa is also not sitting opposite the light. So you, we should sit opposite the light. Light should be on our face. You are yeah, now. Now I'm not at the opposite. But while you are taking the uh, photo, I was in the front of okay, it. Okay. Yeah, that's great. But we are progressing. That's good. I think we pray and then conclude. So, but Joseph, can you pray today? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Loving Father, we thank you for this day once again. Oh God, we thank you for taking us through missions. Thy servant, you are giving him the grace of God. and uh, technicalities regarding the photos also we could all join we thank you for each one of us could uh, select the topics for the research paper of god we thank you we are progressing and uh, francis also writing we thank you for each one of us of god and we thank you for our potan also for his study for his preparation meticulous and uh, all the insights which he has given especially uh, about excellence of god being evangelicals we are only thinking about the spiritual thinking we track given making a person to know about jesus christ salvation bring him and baptize him in god but uh, it is not mission is not only that but mission is liberation the oppressed people even even in our country oh god the missionaries oh god uh, the christian mission has really brought a lot of change in the dalits in the outcasts in this country in the villages the way they used to live out and what was their position oh god we thank you for you have been working in our country also through western missionaries and also to the indigenous missionaries and for all these insights uh, the research of the culture and uh, the special uh, you are given burden for our brother venkata potana regarding the people of this country how to understand them how to approach them how to have a different uh, way of approaching contextual of so what we pray that you may as we get this exodus of what not only the spiritual uh, things we think about what about the other things we have learned today about all those points 
may be imprinted in our minds so our our minds may be enlightened we are exposed to the truth of the world and we are more we may become more thorough gentlemen in the spirit in the word of god we thank you and we thank you for each one of us in jesus name we pray amen 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 amen, amen. You, friends have a blessed day and god bless you thank you good night thank you thank you good night good night